Hey everybody, it's Bubba the Vulture, and it's it's been a little bit, I suppose, but uh, may or may not have felt that way for you. You might have forgotten I existed because you were one of the many, many people who did not keep up with Let's Play Dream Daddy. I don't know if that's because the series made people uncomfortable, made people bored, or the fact that it was surprisingly difficult to get what would seemingly be such a relatively simple game from a like system demands a standpoint to uh, run and record. Uh, regardless, um, I have been uploading things until fairly recently, but this is Let's Play Super Hang On. Uh, this is on the Sega, Gen Sega Arcade Classics collection on the Game Boy Advance, the same way that I played Outrun and Space Harrier earlier. Like, by earlier, I mean probably, like, years ago at this point. Regardless, this is the first time I've pretty much outridden a crisis. This is the first time I've played a video game, more or less, since uh, the birth of my son, uh, Bronco Vulture. Bronco came into Bean and My Lives in uh, the early part of January, and here we are the early part of March. Oh, by the way, uh, you, uh, you you ride in this. I've just picked up this game for the first time, basically. I've found out that there's like some kind of like spark, you know, fire from your uh, exhausts uh, special mode. There don't seem to be gear shifts. There is falling off of your bike, though, so be very careful. Let's try and make it past the first checkpoint, shall we? Those Bridgestone signs that may or may not have spelled Bridgestone properly so that they could uh, get out of uh, paying money to big tire manufacturers. Yep, when uh, you hit a motorcycle that's in front of you, you just sort of go bouncing off into the stratosphere. Which makes reasonable sense. I'm not going to fault the game too much for that. So I was sort of hoping to be able to do a channel update with this video, but I don't know that I have that much to update. I tried to tie up as many ongoing projects uh, before before baby time as I could. Um, let's try a different tune. Sprinter. Sounds solid. I mean, obviously there are several old ones, most of which were collaborations with other people that are sort of all on a definite hold. Even the ones with Bean, um, because of just difficulty of getting multiple people together at the same time. Even being in the same house. Of course, now... That would mean, well, if both of us are playing a game, who is looking after Little Bronco? So, there's that. Sorry, it's just that this is intense racing action, guys. I was hanging on. I was about to say how well I could hang on. I could hang on with the best of them. I could throw down with the best of them. But uh, the only sort of solo ongoing project I had was... Let's play MLB Power Pros, which unfortunately is the, the first one where I like tried to coerce other people into participating uh, and making financial donations. I mean, they made them to a charitable cause, and I'm glad that they did. But also, oh, you see that, guys? You see those moves? I just managed to get into this extra checkpoint area. I think it's because of the sort of 
nature of the original arcade console, this was a game, Hang On was a game where you had a, like there's basically sort of like a, a motorcycle sort of midsection, I guess. I mean, it didn't have a, a tire on the front or the back of it or anything. But uh, you straddled the, I guess, controller, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh, but, like, you straddled a, a motorcycle thing and you leaned to uh, make the turns. So I'm guessing that's why there are more sort of gradual turns on this one than you might see in some places. Now, I understand that I haven't really advanced to being any better, but just so you can see a different background, maybe let's try the junior stage and see how that goes. I'm not going to win any of these. I should have said that at the beginning of the episode. Uh, we're not going to succeed at uh, Super Hang On, but let's see if we can have... I mean, I just said we weren't going to succeed, but here is a winning run. But yeah, let's play MLB Power Pros. Like, I mean, I don't even know. Are people still even interested in seeing MLB Power Pros? Especially considering, at this point, if I were to go back and do it, any of the players that I haven't made yet, I'm just going to get passwords online for good player, like, good, like, a good shortstop, a good pitcher, good third baseman, whatever, uh, and just input them, because there is a password input where you can input created characters that way. I just do that and then go into the character edit and change their names. So, I don't know if I'm going to have time to go through the life sim mode anymore. And in order to uh, put a created team through season mode, I have to beat season mode uh, with a not created team. Which I could always do, and do offline, even. Try and simulate all the games. I just don't know whether or not the actual gameplay of baseball is going to interest anybody. I mean, SKS had a lot of success with his Super Mega Baseball uh, series is, and maybe I could have success like that, but, uh, you know, SKS is just a successful man, and who's to say I could necessarily just emulate that out of, uh, out of nothing. But, regardless, uh, that would be tricky to do anyway, is what I'm saying. It would be very tricky and time-consuming when I don't know that I really have any time right now. NGK, Spark Plug Company. Ouch. That hurt me, Doc. I'm actually getting farther in this Asia course. I mean, there's more to it, but I'm getting farther in this than I did in the uh, beginner course. It's a good time to uh, have a crash like that the moment I say that I'm doing well compared to the past. Seems like really... Elf! <laughs> I realize how ridiculous that sounds now to just say Elf in an excited voice, but Elf is a uh, you know, petroleum products company as well. Uh, from France, if I remember right. But... Oh no, I didn't get high score in the junior core on that junior course either. This is all going to pot. Anyways, let's uh that was fun. What if we go to the expert stage? The expert stage is gonna be a hard road. These are good tunes. These tunes are good tunes. You should listen to these tunes. Tunes. I see the Eiffel Tower behind us there. That does mean that this is Europe. The Eiffel Tower is a thing that's in Europe. They have a one-third scale Eiffel Tower at the King's Dominion theme park in north of Richmond, Virginia. But it's kind of blue, if I remember. So, uh, not exactly a perfect replica, even taking the scale into consideration. <laughs> Man, I just... my bo Both my body and my bike managed to uh, cross the checkpoint, just not together. 
so uh, we still got the extended time. Oh, those uh, several doctors uh, by the side of the road there on the right. Or, I mean, there are several TARDISes. And yes, I believe if there were more than one, it would be TARDISes. Not TARDI or something like that, because, uh, for one, it's an acronym, and for another, I'm assuming that's supposed to be a, like, proper name sort of thing. Yeah, if there's one thing I'm going to teach, uh little Bronco baby, apparently it's going to be to be, like, really um, <laughs> to be really dickish about how you speak and write. Which uh, may not be uh, particularly valuable uh, by the time a child born today uh, reaches maturity. Because, you know, kids these days evolving language. Grumble, grumble. You heard me. Kids these days evolving language, grumble grumble. Like Clown Dog Showtime Clap Clap. Anyway. Since I have a kid and uh, I'm getting older, let's try the senior stage. I guess we'll uh, try out Riding a Crisis again. They're pretty backgrounds. But yeah, let's see. What are the other bits of gaming news that I can think of that would be uh, worth talking about? Uh, one would be, I guess, yeah, I, I can't remember now if I mentioned, but uh, I got a PlayStation 4. So I haven't even had, like, I haven't even set it up yet. Which is, oh, wait, those were TARDISes again. Saw a bunch of TARDISes along the side of the road. This is supposed to be North America. We don't have those police boxes here. I don't even know that we have phone booths anymore, but this was in 1992. It can be forgiven. In the 90s, people still had and used, or er, places still had pay phones and people still used them. Somewhat. The 90s, cell phones were being adopted by people, but had not been adopted by essentially everyone. That's right. Cell phones hadn't been adopted by everyone, so there were some orphan cell phones out there. I'm really stunned that I hung on at the very end there and did not hit one of those trees. Okay. I have to see what was going on there. Were there actually police boxes? on this course. I'm not going to get very far again, but uh, I want to see what was happening there, if that was for real. But anyhow, uh, related to the having a PlayStation 4, uh, I believe if I manage to do any more streaming, um, I am likely going to be changing my streaming provider because uh, last time I streamed, Mixer was still a relatively reliable and stable streaming service, and they seem to have really gone off the boil in the past few months. I mean, they already were starting to then, but uh, yeah, those were like those police boxes. So, all the cool kids have already uh, transferred over to Switch, which, you know, I always had sort of my apprehensions about for a long time just because, you know, you get into a wider enough, a wide enough community, you're always going to be worried about having uh, sort of a little bit too much rubbish talk going on. But, you know, if Twitch is a wide enough community, then that means that uh, they've got places for those folks to all hang out on their own. And, uh... I found a lot of very fun, uh, very fun streamers on Twitch that I was not aware of before. In addition to the folks that uh, we all know and love, like Remeth and Lethal and Zerf, you, sh you should go find all of them on Twitch if you haven't. 
don't think Gremeth has been streaming us super much uh, lately either, but I think he's done some uh, streaming and playing of stuff this this year anyway. Um, whereas I've been kind of total radio silence. I've just been burning up stuff that I sort of recorded, have on deck. But uh, other streamers that uh, I only have just sort of caught onto from Twitch. Like, uh, uh, Gunstar Heroes is one. Hungry Goria uh, is a new fave of mine. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel that gets updated on the regs with some content that is, like, stuff of streams and other content that is uh, its own independent thing. And, you know, that's a... That's quite a professional, comprehensive way to do it. You know me, I... Basically, I stream stuff and then uh, I put it on YouTube. And I'm using it, I'm trying to recycle it as much as possible. <laughs> just make sure that uh, anything that I'm doing for one, I'm doing for the other. Although, obviously, this is not for Twitch. I didn't want to uh, get involved in trying to set up anything like that right now. But I know that um, the PlayStation 4, well, now that I've sort of done a little bit more riding around, maybe I'll have a little bit better uh, luck at the beginner stage. Now that I have a better idea of how this game is played. But uh, PlayStation has its own sort of, like, you can stream through the PlayStation 4. I'm interested in trying that a little bit, just because I think it would be a lot easier a uh, setup to do for uh, on-console recording. Just because, you know, if anybody has watched any of my most recent live streams that are off of console, like uh, the Castlevania one, or Smackdown, here comes the pain, uh, you may have noticed uh, some difficulties in getting everything sort of balanced and set up right, uh, because I using an Opog uh, recording device that is not brand new and they can be a little buggy sometimes and uh, also a tiny netbook that is not very very smart I guess it's, uh, it's not the best at processing things I mean it's fine for doing basic web browsing and sort of you want to stream something, some video or another online, you're totally fine doing that. Yeah, what do you know? I didn't get any better at this one. Considering it's the beginner course and I've been doing better at the junior and senior and expert ones, I feel like this is all big rip. Either that or the beginner stage somehow doesn't suit my personal playstyle. Don't ask me to describe my personal playstyle. Play I don't even know what it is. But, uh, excuse me, goodness. But yeah, um, if I get back into streaming again, it might be uh, testing out the PlayStation 4's uh, built in, like baked in streaming functions, just because, uh, you know, if it was made for it, my laptop obviously wasn't, perhaps it would uh, be a bit of a smoother experience for all parties involved. But uh, it's set up to do on like Twitch and, I don't know, Vimeo or one of those, and I figured Twitch probably of those was the way to go. Because I know the folks, everybody, all the, you know, like I said, the cool kids that are all over on, uh, on Twitch land. Uh, I don't know when I'll do that. Don't know when I'll have the opportunity to do that. Uh, I'd like to do it. Maybe the opportunity will never come. Tears. But once that comes up, I will be sure and uh, announce it on my Twitter feed. If you guys aren't following Bobo the Vulture, at Bobo the Vulture, on the Twitter lands, I don't know what you're doing. Probably just not using Twitter to follow LPers, which I totally understand. Maybe you have a separate Twitter account just for 
all your gaming funds, follow Bobo there, and don't follow him on your account where all your family and friends are. I know folks that do that. You got one for your fun need or for your basic needs. That's how you keep your feeds all like separated separated out, right? I didn't do that with uh, one of my Twitter feeds, and now it's like this weird mix of comedians I like, uh, independent wrestlers that uh, I've seen, and seem like good people, and various other like personal and sometimes professional contacts. So like while I'm seeing a story from a former colleague uh, who is posting a link to uh, Bobo's political website dot com competitor that they've since moved to about like you know what's going on at the Pentagon in terms of like who's going to be the next Secretary of Defense on a permanent basis. Uh, there'll also be uh, a post from Bad Boy Joey Janela uh, talking about how he recovered from injury and uh, he made a promo video saying uh, the Indies aren't dead because the King still lives. And putting on, you know, the Joey Janela Spring Break event. Stuff like that. Anyway, I'm about to run out of time here, but yeah, we got like halfway through. Which is not as far as I got in the uh, beginner stage. <sighs> this is a confusing, confusing thing. So I'm having fun. Hopefully you guys are all having fun, too. If you're not, I'm just sort of blathering on and playing a game that's sort of enjoyable to me. And I can understand if you want to leave. I'm not doing anything where I'm calling out Patreon subscribers at the end. Or, uh, you know, going to give anybody a, a, a coupon code for using Squarespace or something. I don't have, uh, don't have any... Any revenue streams set up? I mean, I suppose. Like, that's the dream, isn't it? If you had revenue streams set up and they somehow did not involve compromising how you were doing your hobby, uh, then you could actually continue to do it and make money from it to the point where you were not having to worry so much about your professional life. I'm worried about my professional life a little bit. Uh, I'm getting ready to go back to work in not too long. And I know what you're all thinking. Bobo, you mean you're still off of work? That's an awfully long sort of set of leave to take, isn't it? Uh, and, if I, and if you say that to me, I'll say, well, you, you must be from North America, because, uh, you know, family leave is not necessarily an absurd thing in other places. Boy, I didn't mean to get into the Bobo's political website dot com uh, debate over what is appropriate family leave. I am really glad that I took it though because boy howdy, I think Bean would be having a hard time figuring all this out with no backup, um, which is not any denigration of Bean. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, if 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 she had to go back and I was just looking after uh, Bronco on my own, I would have a hard time keeping up on all this myself. And I don't mean that as a denigration of Bronco, either. I mean, he's an infant. You can't expect him to be self-reliant in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, basically... It's... It's a lot. We're... We're very happy to be doing it. But, uh, it has taken me away from you guys a little bit. You know, I'm sorry for that. And hopefully you guys are all still... As I continue to just break through the checkpoint sign, um, as I cross the uh, checkpoint line, yeah, there were those police boxes again. But you know, it's taking me away from you guys a little bit, and I'm, you know, I'm sorry for that. And there's more fun stuff that I'd love to do, but uh, you know, it's just. It's this weird... You get into this weird stasis with uh, minding a kid because... Ah, I swerved slightly too much. I meant to just lightly tap. I must have lost my balance on the giant plastic motorcycle that I'm riding right now uh, to play this game. 
even though I already told you that this was the Game Boy Advance collection. The Game Boy Advance did not come with a giant plastic motorcycle. Some would say that's why it failed. Game Boy Advance, of course, didn't fail. It was just fine. Oh man, so close to the checkpoint. I wonder, could you say that Nintendo has ever made a portable console that failed, really? I mean, that's been sort of the out of the park knocking thing that they've done. Like, the whole Game Boy line and then the DS line to follow has been just sort of solid. Um, let's try Senior again. Why not? I mean, this is to not count the Virtual Boy, which, you know, required a stand and to be sat on a table and was not, I don't believe, was battery powered, so you had to plug it into a wall, so it wasn't exactly sort of a true portable that, like, you could keep in the back, like, that you could play in the backseat of the car on the road trip, right? Yeah, once again, let me just uh, quick give a shout out to the latest people that I've started following since I've been on Twitch. Um, yeah, uh, Gunstar Heroes and uh, Hungry Goria. Uh, retro gaming, as one might expect, being the kind of thing that I would be uh, following. Um, Gunstar Heroes is doing something called the Game Gear Gauntlet, where I think he wants to play through and... I believe, beat uh, everything on the Game Gear. Which is interesting, because Game Gear is one of those that uh, I always thought was an interesting console, but never got into collecting because I didn't know, sort of, well, for one, I didn't have a Game Gear, it wouldn't have a good way to sort of test out the actual parts. Um, and, you know, just didn't didn't have a good setup for doing that. I mean, obviously you can emulate all those things. And uh, oftentimes doing that makes the recording of it smoother. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret to everybody. But yeah, so that's an interesting set of streams that he's doing in Hungry Glory, as I said. I think mean, also has a YouTube channel. Um, good videos there entertainment to be had, games that you wouldn't necessarily anticipate, like uh, I think Popful Mail is going on right now, which was a Sega CD game that did not, you know, do gangbusters over here or anything, but looks like it's a pretty fun little uh, adventure platformer thing. I saw some of that on a stream. I haven't actually gone back and watched those YouTube videos yet. A lot of old Master System stuff, too. These these are things that I have particular interest in just because I never had any of the Sega consoles as a youth. So now I'm going back and reliving the experience of playing Sega stuff. Like Super Hang On. Which, of course, was not a home console game. Although the original Hang On was the... Uh, was the pack-in for the uh, Master System. Well, one of them. I think it was Hang On and Jungle Hunt, maybe, because Jungle Hunt was the uh, light gun game. I'm talking from memory slash out of my rear end. <clears throat> so, you know, I could be entirely wrong. I could be entirely right. Let's try the Junior one again. I seem to do best at the Junior one. Also, the Sprinter... That's the, the that's the cool thing, man. That's the, that's the rough and ready. <laughs> you know, Mike Enos and Wayne Bloom, rough and ready. Yeah, so uh, professional wrestlers Mike Enos and Wayne Bloom uh, wrestled together uh, for a number of promotions, uh, including in the uh, World Wrestling Federation, as the Beverly Brothers, Bo and Blake Beverly, although. They were actually guys named Mikey and us and Wayne Bloom. Wayne the Bloom, as I used to call him. Uh, but then they also wrestled in World Championship Wrestling. Uh, if I'm remembering right, 
uh, maybe I'm remembering totally wrong, but I believe that it was Mike Enos and Wayne the Bloom that uh, wrestled as the team of Rough and Ready. And they had like this epic cowboy like movie music uh, that they came to the ring with. It was pretty good stuff. That was the best reported lap time from what I've been told. I'm hitting new personal bests left and right. Maybe I should uh, be giving this a, a great, sh great shot. Yeah, so like I imagine a lot of you, uh, if you haven't heard from me in a long time, or the most that you've heard from me is, you know, being uh, guest commentary on speedrun video, like speedrun practice videos of Zerf's. Zerf, by the way, Zerfall has started to become a pretty adept speedrunner in some different places. He has. He is the world champion of several uh, several games now. He's the uh, unquestioned champion of Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular. Uh, he's also got the block down on lockdown as relates to the NES port or the NES version of the Dick Tracy game. And uh, I've seen him do very well on Hudson Hawk. I don't know whether or not he has the world record time on Hudson Hawk. But uh, that, I think, is also in some part due to the fact that, I guess, one of his best runs, Sound didn't record. He has the same hopage uh, capture device that I do. And, uh, yes, I did it. That wasn't my best lap time, but that's okay. Just got to keep trying. That's right, I swerved to avoid that brush. You gotta be careful when you go, Bush. Don't be a bloody idiot. Yeah, don't believe I'm reaching the next checkpoint, but see, I'm like halfway across Asia. That's quite an achievement. Okay, I guess I don't have that much else, unfortunately, to, to report in. I just wanted to do something for the channel to keep it slightly fresh. Also, just to let you guys know where I'm at, where my head's at. I love you all, um, which I understand is, is a lot to take, but no, I, I, I miss the uh, I miss the community of uh, Let's Plays and live streams. Uh, I miss you guys, but I've just had so much happening. I don't know. But yeah, it's 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 been great to see you again. Uh, I imagine uh, I imagine Bean and Bronco will be back from uh, where they're at right now in not too long. So I guess I'll go ahead and wrap this up. I don't know what my future plans are going to be. Uh, I would love to tell you uh, what they are. Uh, I would love to get my PS4 set up and see whether or not I could just like maybe slyly live stream things. That's the problem right now. I could live stream stuff right now. I could live stream stuff all night long. But the issue is is that any moment, and I don't know when that moment is, like Bronco will wake up and eat something. Which, you know, is the same issue I imagine that Zerf has a lot of the time. But he and Jaxors, I believe, have worked that out a little bit. You know, so that like they can both have their own personal time. Uh, maybe when Bronco is a little bit older and he is a little bit less in constant need, uh, we'll be able to figure out something a little more like that too. But as it is right now, uh, you could just run yourself ragged uh, trying to mess with anything else. So I leave you with this video. I actually really enjoyed Super Hang On. I kind of wish uh, that I could just sort of sit around. Like this would be a game that I would play for like you know, an hour or two, maybe even more, just sort of checking it out, playing it, getting good. Reminds me, you know, I mean, it's it's one of these sort of 2D, pseudo 3D style, I mean, not 3D like polygonal, but like you can see they like emulate crests of hills and valleys and stuff um, just by how much additional road in front of you they show. 
Uh, reminds me a lot of Outrun, of course, and of uh, Rad Racer, which is one that I had started to do a series on, and probably as much as anything I would want to go back and redo it because I was recording it off of console, and my console, this was with my old, old, old console recording setup, uh, which was composite video and uh, not the best software, and I wasn't the most adept at using it. We've all come a long way, baby. Like, unfortunately, the, I, the, the first thing I did with it was do Steambot Chronicles. It'd be lovely to go back to Steambot Chronicles one day. I've never played through that game as a bad guy because I love the game so much, and I enjoy the characters and their interactions so much that uh, I don't want to be mean to them. I'll, I'll play through the game, and I'll get to those points where you have the opportunity to do bad things. I'm like, oh, why would I do that to Connie? She seems nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Bobo the Vulture. Uh, this has been Let's Play Super Hang On. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll meet again. I just don't know where, don't know when.